Hello there, I am that cool Raichu and welcome to another brilliant episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. And in the last episode, we we went to the training school and got our Poketch and we battled our rival. We're, and yeah, all that really cool stuff. It was a very short episode um, because I was in a bit of a rush. I had to go somewhere, very important. Um, but... There is no such rush this time. I am just free to take as much time as I need. And yeah, in this episode, we're going to be heading to Orbic City. And maybe going to the Orbic Time uh, Mine if we have time. I almost said Orbic Time if we have mine. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't quite work. But yes, if we have time, we may even go to the Orbic Mine. Which... That's actually rhyme, which is pretty cool, isn't it? But this is our team I look at, is looking at the moment: uh, Koneko, uh, Kikazaru, and Mukadori. So, you know, we're all looking pretty good, I think. So, yeah, we have some trainers to actually battle on the way. Who are we get? You know, I don't think we actually used Kikazaru much last time, so I'm gonna use Kikazaru. I have the energy because I get power from Pokemon. Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. What you got, youngster Michael? Set up Bidoof. Okay, cool. Our Lord and Saviour Bidoof. I mean, gotta put some respect on that name. Uh, let's go for Ember. It's only level 5, so it should be pretty easy. Yeah. And another Ember, and let's see if can take it down. Yeah, of course, very easy. And Kikazaru has grew to level 10, nice. And Zubat is next. Let's go into Koneko. Because if we use a Thunder Shock, that will be super effective. And maybe we can get a one shot? That'd be great. Yeah. Of course. I mean, level 5 Thunder Shock, week 2, doesn't stand a chance. Brilliant. And there we go. Yeah, you're poor Pokemon. I apologize, but it had to be done. It is the trainer's duty, after all. Ah, uh, we've got an item down here. A Pokeball. And it looks like a Pokeball too, so... Pretty perfect <laughs> that they go together so well. Train tips. Pokemon user moves use energy called Power Points. Or PP for short. To replenish PP, head to any Pokemon Center. Sure, why not? <laughs> Though I already knew that. So... You know, kind of use this information to something I already know. So, yeah, pretty good. Why, why am I here? Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with Kikazaru. We're all together. I'll show you how we bonded. I'm assuming you're talking about a Pokemon. Youngster Dallas. I'm pretty sure Dallas is a... Is it... Is it a state or a city? Dallas is a state in the US, right? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sound really stupid. I'm, I apologize to my American friends. It was also a TV show, I'm pretty sure. I think there was a show called Dallas. But <laughs> enough about talking about Dallas's. We've got to defeat youngster Dallas and yeah, one shot. Easy peasy. Doesn't stand a chance. Great, excellent. And yeah, McDonald grew to level 10, nice. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. Ah, uh, you... <laughs> I love how this lass is just standing here. She's just... She's just waiting, you know, just in the middle of the road. <laughs> I found the trainer while looking for some Pokemon. Well, I'm afraid to report that I am not a Pokemon. I am very much human. At least I think so. 
The to be fair, there are Pokemon that look pretty human. So, I mean, maybe. But, I don't think I look like a Pokemon. At least, not last time I checked, and I... I click sync without realising it. I click scratch. No, it did a decent amount, either way, so it's not too bad. Okay, Ember. You know what I love about this time of day? I love how it looks like a forest on fire. Like the sky looks like... Looks like it's burning. It's it's beautiful, honestly. Starly. Okay. Level 4. That'll be easy to take care of. Yeah. Awesome. What you got next? Badoo! Uh, super effective, like... Yeah. Easy peasy. And there we go. And we are done. Hm, you fish us soon? Yep. Bye bye. You shouldn't have just surprised me like that. Just come out of nowhere. <laughs> but, yeah. I think we're making good time, actually. You know, I just I just had to double check that I was recording, just in case <laughs> that I wasn't. You just can't be too careful, can you? You just have to really make sure. Otherwise, it's uh, it could be pretty embarrassing. Um, now I'm actually gonna keep up Kickstarter because I actually want it to get a fighting move, which we don't have yet, but. A fighting move will be very um, important for the first gym since it's rock type. Give me a battle so I can see if I'm ready for the Pokemon Gym Challenge. <laughs> well, I'm trying to find that out myself, my friend. Youngster Sebastian, okay. Machop. I think that's your only Pokemon, right? Yeah, level 7. No problem. Also, only two days until Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is very exciting. I've actually um, ordered my game online. Um, I was going to pick it up, but um, plans are kind of changed. But um, I should be. But yes, um, it most likely will arrive on the day, though. There's that slight worry that um, it might not, but I... I think it will definitely arrive on the day, so <laughs> fingers crossed for that, but I'm feeling hopeful that it will. But yeah, I'm very looking forward to that. And uh, the reviews actually came out today, and they are very positive. So yeah, I mean, that's got me even more excited, to be honest. So yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, and this uh, this lass is looking to challenge the gym leader. I, I know I didn't um, read the dialogue there, but um, I actually I actually really remember this dialogue from even the original games. Like she's always talking about how she's gonna take on the gym leader with a flying type. Lass, I I'm sorry, but that is a very bad idea. Like you have no idea how bad that is, and I have a Starley, and I'm not gonna even attempt that with my Starley. Because that would just be the worst idea because it's completely weak to rock. So, yeah, what are you even playing at? You're not... In fact, no, 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 no. She's not even talking about, um, not even talking about wanting to change the gym lead, in fact. Um, she's actually about to won the gym badge? How? I, I, I genuinely do not get it. So I may have actually slightly misremembered that, but, you know, it just came back to me that she's actually already beat Rock, but I have no idea how. How did she manage it? Like, teach me your secrets. Like, that shouldn't even be possible. Did you hack? And she has a Bidoof as well. I mean, I know Bidoof is very, you know, the almighty Bidoof, but 
pretty sure a normal type isn't really going to do that much against the gym leader, like Rock, a rock, rock type gym leader. I mean, it's in the name, Rock sounds like Rock, I mean, how are you even going to do that? I don't even know, <laughs> but I mean, good for you, last Madeline. Oh, I lost, la la la. Okay, <laughs> uh, sure. And, you know, do we have any repels? Because we really need some repels so we stop running into these encounters. Also, with how, um, how well this recording is going, I definitely think we'll be able to, we'll be able to uh, do Orb Mine today as well. So we'll get some really good, uh, really good uh, progression today, which is always great. Um, hang on, where would it be? Would it be in other items or would it be in, yeah, it would be in other items, wouldn't it? We don't have any repels, so when we get into Orb City, we should, we should get some repels, that would be a good idea. And no, I'm not walking all the way back to Jubilife City. I know it's essentially just like a minute away, but I mean, we're, we're almost in Albuquerque City. I think we can hold off. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Okay, so we have this hiker dude that's gonna, do we have any, we have some potions of course, right? Yeah, we're super careful about that. You know, I'm really loving uh, Let's Playing this, but based on my personal playthrough, the one thing I'm really scared about eventually doing is going up against Cynthia. She is hard in this game. Let me let me tell you that, like, way in advance of us doing that in this Let's Play, she is... She is difficult. Like... <laughs> it's actually unbelievable. <sighs> Oh, looky there, you've got a Poketch. Hmm, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But so good, you're a new fellow friend for Pokemon. So let me make a gift of these technical machines to you. I've got some TM98s, and I think this is Rock Smash, right? Which used to be a HM, but they got rid of HMs. Thank Arceus, because those were the worst. So I'm super glad that Rock Smash and Cut and all that are HMs now. So much better. FYI, when you use a technical machine to teach Pokemon to move, that HTM will then break. Yeah, the one downside about TMs in this game is that, like the original, um, TMs do break. Um, since Gen 5, they made it so you could use them over and over again, but sadly, um, they actually made the TMs breakable again, which is... <laughs> A problem, a little problem I do have. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. I would much prefer infinite use TMs. Though, on the plus side, at the very least, they are very generous. Like, if you noticed, we got more than one of these TMs. I'm not sure how many, I'll have to check. But we actually got more than one. So they are pretty generous, to be fair. But it would be better if they were infinite use. But, oh well. Also add a new feature to your Poketch. Yeah, the hidden moves out. Teach uh, talking about the Poketch actually. Um, but to use this, yeah, we'll need the gym badge from Orgberg. Um speaking of the Poketch, actually, we actually need um have actually have a look at the Poketch because we didn't actually do that in the last episode. So we've got the um we've got the clock. We've got the calculator. We've got uh, the step counter, I think. Um, we've got the team, which is really cool, and we've got the hidden moves. And I think as you go through the game, you can unlock different apps and stuff like that, which is really cool. So as we progress, we'll get more apps, and I think you can even get like a another app at the like the TV station, which we will be going back to, um, probably in the next episode, um, probably before we end that episode. I think that'll be a good idea to check, but yeah, I think that's a good idea. All right, yeah, okay. I think we're gonna leave <coughs> the team in the order it is. Which means we'll accept changes anywhere. It's what we do. Yeah, no, I am a trainer myself. I'm somewhat, 
I'm something. Ah, I, I bit my tongue. <laughs> I'm something of a Pokemon trainer myself. Uh, good old Willem Dafoe from Spider Man. Which I actually, um, I actually recently like binged um, the Tobey Maguire and G Andrew Garfield films, and that was really fun. Um, I haven't seen the Tom Holland Spider Mans yet. Um, I still need to uh, get to that actually, um, because I I still need to like watch through the MCU, which I have started doing on Disney Plus. But you know, I don't think I'm quite close to the Tom Holland Spider Man movies yet. But I'll get there eventually. <laughs> there we go. Bye, Shinx. Uh, Shinx, you're a great Pokemon, but it had to happen. And there we go. Hang on. I have. Uh, I had my. I had my phone. Had my phone there. So I hope it wasn't. Um, Bothering you too much with the buzzing. Not sure how much it buzzed during this recording. Hopefully it wasn't annoying or anything. But yes. Yeah. Need to stop checking. I'm, I'm just going to keep this team the way it is. So by my getting through this cave, I'm going to battle you. Uh, why not? You've got two Pokemon, unlike your buddy, who I think only had one. Badoo. Yeah. That'd be easy. And Ember. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Even brighter than the moon, the moon, the moon. Firework by Katy Perry is literally my favorite song ever. It's so good. Oh man, I love it so much. Psyduck. Uh, let's, uh, let's not use a Kikazaru for that because um, Psyduck is part water type. I think it might be fully water type actually. Is it part psychic or is it just water? Hmm. Oh, uh, wrong wrong move. Oops. Uh, it's going for tail whip. That'll, that won't affect us at all. Nah, we're good. We good. Thunder shock. Yeah, we're good. Awesome. And that's the picnic down. Down for the count. Well, I guess losing something to commemorate too. Yeah. That's why they have the Razzie Awards. And here we are, my friends. We are in Orberg City. Look at this. It's very, uh, very rocky. He's saying howdy. I'm gonna have to use the accent, am I? Enter. <laughs> howdy, trainer. If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? He used the word noob. He used the word noob. I'm a noob. No, I'm not. You don't know anything about my Pokemon skills. I'm, I'm far from, from a noob. So I'll show you where the town's Pokemon gym is. Huh? There's someone there. Ah, oh, it's it's Joe. Hello. Huh? I see you right. You finally got him. Yes, the letter call was. You say slow? The gym leader is gone. Long gone now. He said he had to go. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, big man. I got my jet badge already, so it's no big deal to me. But. Uh, but what? I guess he's not gonna complete the sentence. Oh well. Let's just head to the Pokemon Center and just get quickly healed. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Yep, I know. Thank you, Nurse Joy. And there we go. Our team of three awesome Pokemon. I like it. Switching to PC and Pokemon Center thanks to the Pokemon Center. Okay. Got any useful stuff to say? Yeah, I know that. Yay! I trade Pokemon at the Global Club downstairs. Ah, cool. I don't think we've unlocked that yet, have we? I'm very sorry, we're working underground right now. It's off limits to the public. Yep, so 
we can't really access that right now, but oh well. Let's just let's just have a look around. Jimmy went to work off after working the mine. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. When I run around with Marie, she's only feels like I'm the centre of attention. Yeah, cool. <laughs> there are a lot of different TMs. If it's tricky to try and decide which Pokemon should learn what moves. I really hope someone has an item for me. It would be great. Because as a user. Hmm. Oh, I went the wrong way. I want to talk to the hiker. Do you have anything for me, sir? Looks like Tom's Jim Lee. He may be young, but he keeps the mine running safely and efficiently. Oh, that's good to hear. Good to hear that he's very, um, very good with safety and making sure that people, you know, don't get hurt or anything like that. Have you seen the vents? They release steam from down below. Okay, what's in here? Rocket Let's just try and poke one in the mine. Okay. There are eight gym leaders. Yeah, I know. What about you? Gym leaders just like any train you meet. I'll take as many Pokemon as possible if I were you. Uh, yeah, I think I'm alright though. You know, I don't think we have any advantages at the moment. Which is why I want a fighting type move on Kikazaru. Because then that will uh, give us a bit of an edge. You can catch a Pokemon. Here, take this if you'd like. Oh, cool. A desk ball. Finally, someone gives me something. <laughs> nice. Ah. Uh, yellow the Psyduck. Giving nicknames to Pokemon is the way to go. It makes you feel as if they're your very own. Yeah. Sure enough. You named our Psyduck Yellow. I don't understand the logic, but I mean, it is yellow, so I mean, I mean, fair enough. I mean, I'm certainly not going to judge, you know. Hello. Listen, do you have a Pokemon called Matchup? Would you be willing to trade? Uh, nope. I do not have a Matchup, sorry. A Pokemon obtained in a trade grows quickly, but if a Pokemon grows too much, it will often ignore the trainer. Cause I won't matter if you have a lot of gym badges. I'm working on getting that gym badge. Won't be until next episode, but I'm working to get there. What Pokemon has a special power called an ability? Mm-hmm. The view is good from here, but it's a pain going out. I mean, that is a very, um, that's a very small window, so I'm not even sure how you can see that much from there, but cool. How am I picking the Naya like? It's not anything I explain easily. I mean, fair enough. Yeah, no one, no one in here gave me any items. What about this house down here? You don't have Pokemon of different natures? Yeah. Wait, did you say... Is she talking about shiny Pokemon? Is that a reference to shiny Pokemon? Because I feel like it is. I've never no Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, she was talking about shiny Pokemon because this kid is talking about shiny Pokemon too. They have different colours than usual, yeah. Usually yellow. Uh, yeah, shiny Pikachu is sort of orange, yeah. I know what a shiny Pikachu looks like, so yeah. Oh, then I don't. I don't want to go back in. But yeah, um, I've never actually noticed that dialogue before. Did did they talk about that in the original game? So I feel like I never noticed. I I do wonder. Up ahead, there's a huge tower, the mountain that towers above everything. It divides Sinnoh you know, into two distinct halves. Yeah, it is called Mount Coronet. Dun dun dun! <laughs> oh, uh, we've been here, haven't we? Yeah, I think we've. Uh, I think we checked every house in the main bit. Yeah, I think we have. But there are still some houses in this workplace. Chop chop my chop chop away on rocks. Hello. You're taking the tour of our coal mine. Wonderful. That's excellent of you. It's always good to learn about new things and broaden your horizons. Or if you've got Animal Crossing on Nintendo Switch, you're 
New Horizons. <laughs> uh, that was not very funny at all. I apologize for putting you guys through that terrible joke. There's no question that this is hard, hard work, but working alongside Pokemon, it gives me a boost somehow. Here, take one of these. Another person who gives me an item. I, I love items, what can I say? I mean, just give me all the free items that I can have, especially a super potion, which will very obviously come in handy later on. Hello. Part of dirty sand is called a slag heap. It's waste from sorting coal. <laughs> cool. <laughs> right, <laughs> sure. I won't explain why I find that funny. Just, um, <laughs> yeah. Everyone's proud of mine. They're digging for corn to see as we speak. Is that the only house down here? I thought that was another house. No, I, I guess that's it. Guess that's it. Oh, one thing we do have to do that we can't forget about is get that rep those repels from the Pokemon. Yeah, we have to do that, for sure. Cool. Hello. Oh, you're not selling repels yet. No repels. What? What? Are you, are you joking right now? No repels. Why? <laughs> Is there any reason why? I thought you could get repels by now. Was that the case in the original game too? That you couldn't get them up to this point? Do you have to like earn the first badge to get it? Uh, so we do have to uh, suffer through wild encounters we don't want. That's a shame. Uh, right, okay. Guess we'll have to deal with it. Okay, Geodude. Uh, we just... We don't really have anything for rock type Pokemon. <clears throat> Maybe we should have used Kikazaru a lot more than we did beforehand, like in the last episode. We didn't really use it much, so it's possible we're just kind of behind right now. Everyone who works in the coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenged to battles. <laughs> Yeah, they were poking the look just like the ones. Yeah, you're probably talking about Geodid. Mmm, this is a bit worrying because there's a lot of rock type Pokemon down here and we have nothing for them. Mmm. Yeah, mmm. Geeka's arrow should probably be a bit higher than it is. Right. Let's see how we can manage down here against trainers. Any items and stuff? No? I guess not. Hmm. Yeah, nothing but Geodudes at the moment, I'm afraid. Would it be great if there was like a Zubat or something? I can't believe I'm saying I want a Zubat because those are usually really annoying, but I kind of want a Zubat right now because at least I'd actually be able to take it out. Right. Hang on. I need to check these rocks. These lovely, lovely rocks. <laughs> mm. Right. Okay. I made this match up on route uh, 207. They're now become my most trusted partners. Cool. I'll get let you on secret. I snuck my Pokemon to work. Well, you're not just allowed to bring them to work anyway? I mean, don't people work a Pokemon here? So, I mean... I'm so glad it's not a rock type. <laughs> Thank Arceus, it's a... It's a matchup. Right. Ember. Oh, it's still in the grain. Oh dear. Oh dear, that did a lot of damage. That's worrying. That's very worrying, actually. Oh dear. Divine 
defense foul. Oof. Um. Please don't hit me with anything that could take me out. Please. Oh, it's just using focus energy. Okay, we can take this out. We can do this. Great. Oh, that was terrifying, but we made it out alive. Thank, thank the Lord above. <laughs> and Kizari le grew to level 12. Nice. <gasps> yes, power up punch. Oh, that is what I needed. And that is what I needed. You see, power up punch can make for a great strategy. Because if you strike opponents over and over, it will raise the attack stat. Which means that every hit we land will be much more powerful than the last. Which means that, you know, the more powerful that we become, well, we'll be able to maybe even one shot. Like, this was essentially the strategy I used in my, in my, like, personal playthrough of this game. And it worked really well for the early game. So this is a very good uh, move to have. We're going to get rid of Scratch for sure. We don't need Scratch. We're not going to use it again. So, yeah. Let's get rid of it. There we go. Cool. Okay. I think we're sorted. I think we're, I think we're in the clear, everyone. And we found a potion. Nice. Before we talk to Rock, there's another trainer down here, I believe. Yep. And fan escape rope. Nice. Cool. Final rate then. Just a quick battle on my break. Nothing like a good battle when you're having a break from work. Ah, gee, dude. We learned power up punch at the perfect time. You know, I think that in the originals, you didn't. You don't actually learn a fighting move until. Uh, Chimchar evolves. Am I wrong there? I feel like this is a change to the game because I don't remember learning a fighting time move before Monferno. But I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Okay. Power up punch. Yep. Yeah. At, at first it doesn't really do much but it's going to prove a lot more powerful after this. You will... You will not stand at a chance. There we go. I bet I, I bet I can one shot your next Pokemon. I bet I bet I can do that. I mean come on. Let's let's have a let's have a look. Okay, Onyx. What you got for me? Can you tank this hemp? Oh, do you have sturdy? Oh, it did tank the hit. I'm not sure if it has sturdy, but it did actually tank the hit well. Then again, it is Onyx, but, you know, still did a lot. And this will definitely take it out, so... No sweat. There we go. And Kaneko's grew to level... Grown to level 12. And a bite. Yes. Okay. Let's give it a tackle. Bite is going to prove very useful as well in the future. Especially against psychic type Pokemon, so pretty good. Let's see. Well, don't worry, I'm gonna walk away, so there's your mercy. Right. Hello, Rock. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, get rid of the boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed, so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Just uh, just flexing that he's the gym leader. He's the hot stuff in town. Well, well, sir, I am coming for your for your badge. You won't be the hot stuff anymore. That'll be me. But yes, I think we are completely done when it comes to Orberg Mine. I think so, at least. I don't think we really need to grind either. 
thanks to, you know, something like the experience share system and how it works in this game, it really eliminates the need for grinding, which is fantastic because I think the worst thing about any RPG is always the grinding and I'm so glad the recent Pokemon games have sort of minimised the need to grind. Like, it's kind of taken that away completely, which is great to me. That just, just, that's that's just so much better. I just, I love that so much more. And the look, it is night time. And of course, this is where we will be ending the episode. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yep, of course. And there we go. And that is it for today. In the next episode, we will be taking on the Orberg City Gym Leader Rook. That will be tomorrow. And I hope you're looking forward to it. It is going to be an exciting episode. Our first gym battle of the game. Do not miss it. And of course, tomorrow we will be one day away from Legends Arceus, which is also very exciting. And of course, that will be starting on on Friday. Also, I've created a poll. And if you haven't voted already, um, link will be in the description. Uh, you can vote for my starter in Legends Arceus. So go check that out and vote. You know, good old democracy. <laughs> but yes. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and of course hit that really cool subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next episode. And remember, stay cool.